Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. I'm back out at the retreat location this weekend, working here in the shed on the 2 meter radio. And this video is about Anderson power pole connectors, and also a shout out and thank you to Harden Power Systems. And I'll put a link down below for Anderson power pole connectors and Harden Power Systems, and if you have time, check them out. Harden Power Systems was kind enough to send two of their backpack units that I could show in my previous videos with the ICOM IC7200, and one of them was the solar backpack. And Harden Power System uses these Anderson power pole connectors, and I had never worked with them before, but I want to say thank you for turning me on to them, because I think they're great, and I spent the last two hours here in the shed putting them on everything. I put them on the radio power supply here, I actually put them on my battery charger, and I think these are a really good prepping item, because it allows you to interchange equipment with power supplies really easy. You can standardize your power connections, since most amateur radio equipment and commercial radio equipment uses 12 volts. You can move radios between locations and power supplies and not have to worry about the terminal lugs in the back of the power supply. Do you have the right size? Do I have the space? With Anderson power pole connectors, you can standardize all your power connections for your homestead location or your retreat and easily move equipment between those two locations. The key to the Anderson power pole connectors, which I learned, is you're going to have to buy the actual crimp tool for the connector. I tried to use other crimp tools with limited success, so the proper crimp tool is key. So I, I broke down and while I was at Ham Radio Outlet, I went ahead and picked up the proper crimp tool. I think it was 17 bucks. It wasn't bad. And now I have another tool in the toolbox. But here's the actual connectors here, and I hope you can see this. This is a new camera. My flip cam broke last weekend. You'll get five pieces with the typical connector. You'll get the red and the black plastic shell. You'll get the internal terminals, that's the silver contacts there, and then a roll pin. And what's nice about these connectors is the red and the black are dovetailed, so you can actually lock them together, as you can see here. And when you do that, in between there it creates a hole, and I hope this shows up in this new camera. And that's where you insert the roll pin. That roll pin is partially inserted, and that locks the two connectors together. And then you just simply connect the two halves together, and you have a solid DC connection for 12 volts. These connectors here are the 25 amp connectors, but I think you can get all the way up to 45 amps if you need it. So they're really good connectors. I think these are a great addition to any emergency communications plan because it allows you flexibility to move equipment between power supplies and locations with relative ease. You don't need a tool to disconnect these, you just pull them apart and snap them together. It's that easy. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a video on Anderson Power Pole Connectors, and a thank you and shout out to Harden Power Systems. Thanks for watching, guys.